Welcome back. Well, temperatures today, once again, nearly 10 degrees above average. We topped out at 94 here in Meridian. 64 was our lowest morning, so a little chilly outside. And of course, no precipitation we didn't see over the weekend either. So we're still sitting uh, just over an inch and a half above average for this time of year. We had a few clouds rolling through over the past several hours. We have a cold front sitting up to our north and to our west. More of a cool front than a cold front, I should use that term. Because uh, people might think there's 60 degree temperatures behind it. And there's not, unfortunately. But anyway, this is moving slowly to the south and to the east. Right now, though, it's kind of hung up just to our northwest because the flow is right is parallel along this front. Usually, you know, you have some northwesterly winds behind it, which they do have, but they're very, very light. And uh, so right now, that's slowly making its way down to the southeast. That'll impact our area tomorrow. Not really going to fill in the temperatures, but we'll have several chances for some scattered showers and thunderstorms over the next three days or so. Not a lot of accumulation, but hopefully enough clouds to kind of keep our temperatures down a few degrees. Right over the past three hours, we've seen one little lone drizzle or shower pop up to our north uh, and to our east, and that has since gone away. Lows for tonight, and yeah, we're going to be a little bit warmer, right near 70 degrees. Clear to partly cloudy skies, going to be humid overall. We still do have some moisture sitting over our area. Not enough to really impact our heat index values, at least right now. Uh, but going on throughout later portions of this week, it will start to feel a lot hotter outside, a lot more muggy. For your Tuesday, just hot overall again. We're not, the front rolls on through, not really going to feel the effects of it in terms of our temperature. Just a chance for some showers and thunderstorms mainly during the evening hours during peak heating. Temperatures once again above average, not nearly as warm as today. Hopefully maybe a few degrees cooler because of that cloud cover and those winds will be shifting out of the northwest. But still, nonetheless, uh, it's going to feel pretty hot outside, not like fall again. Today, first day of fall, doesn't feel like it at all. Not going to feel like it for at least the next seven days. Here's our water vapor imagery. Again, the front just sitting right across the, uh, the state right now. Showers and thunderstorms going up through portions of Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. And that's about it. We have dry air sitting over us right now, but it's going to start to get a little bit more humid throughout the overnight hours. And later on this week, jet stream still far to our north. And still, if you notice, there's not a lot of bumps in it right now. It's very east to west, like a straight line. That's not good for what we want to see in terms of fall because what we usually want to see is dips out to the west where we get some cool air being brought down to the south and that just sweeps across our area. Now, good news is there are some indications that going into later on uh, this week, really not later on this week, excuse me, later on this month into early October. It's mainly the first week of October is what we're going to talk about here. We're going to start to see these bumps. Now right now we've seen some of them, just a few out to the west, but they don't have enough energy really to get down to us. But we have some indications, some models are hinting at potentially some days Again, this is a far off prediction in early October where we could have our temperatures topping out in the mid to lower 80s. Just saying, there is some relief hopefully in sight, still a ways away right now. And until then, we got to get through this week and it's going to be a hot one outside nonetheless. So here's your chances for showers and thunderstorms Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Temperatures you can see slowly on the increase. They're going to stay in the mid 90s on throughout your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And unfortunately, only going to get hotter as we go into Monday of next week.